What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 7 of our Python with PyQt tutorial video series. In this video what we're going to be talking about is a pop-up message. So sometimes you want to have like a final alert to the user before something happens. And we're going to use it on our quitting method. So like I promised we're going to make our quitting method a little more complex than it was up to this point. And so anytime you have like maybe a quit the application, any sort of deleting, save overwriting you know that kind of stuff generally you're going to want to have like a are you sure <laughs> you want to do this uh, because people are, are going to misclick they're going to make mistakes and so on so let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to do that so all of our new code is actually going to be contained within our close application method first of all we don't need this woe so custom anymore and sys.exit we're just going to remove for now we're going to put it back but it's just going to get in the way so First of all, when this method runs, it means someone has clicked something that means to exit the application. So what we want to do is first we're going to say choice, because we're going to pop up a little window that says like, are you sure? And it's going to be a binary yes or no. So choice is going to equal qt GUI dot q message box dot question. And just keep in mind there are message boxes and then there's also multiple forms of message boxes so this one's just the question so it comes up and it'll have this nice little question mark and it'll be clear it's a question box so that question self and we'll just make the title this is the title of the window and we'll just make it extract and then comma we'll hit enter just to make some space and then we'll have it ask the question uh, and the question for this one will be get into the chopper and then now you have your choices and your choices are going to be a binary set of choices and you basically have qt uh, gui dot q message box dot yes and then you have a little bar that denotes either or and then you have the same thing only it's going to be no so let's just take this copy paste no although it would be pretty funny to replace no make both of these no that would be pretty fun just like our little s up here <laughs> anyway um this is why i don't have any applications y'all <laughs> uh q message box yes no so you have the choices and then uh once they choose choice will either be qt message box dot yes object or it'll be a dot no so then what we're going to do is we're going to say if the choice is equal to a qt gui dot q message uh, box dot yes what we want to do is we're going to be we're let's just say print uh, extracting now or we're well actually <laughs> we need to go ahead and extract so sys dot exit and then else if they didn't you know if they said like no well all we need to do is like just pass okay that's it so that's that. That's pretty much all we should have to do. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see how that works. So hit OK. Here's our application. So we should in theory get that no matter if we exit, hit quit, or hit this little baby's face. So let's hit the baby in the face. And we see, okay, we've got this little this new window in the quest. It's a nice question mark. It's got our logo still, pretty cool. Extract. And the question is get into the chopper. And uh, we could say no nothing happens but if we click it and say yes it extracts us from the application pretty cool so another thing to note is if you'll see we have this little logo here and when we hit quit that logo is still on our window so T Kinter why don't you you know take notes <laughs> anyway um, so that's that that's how we can kind of add this not only a pop-up message but also make our close application make a little more sense because people are gonna make mistakes they're gonna mean to maximize maybe and they just barely misclick Oh, and that one actually closed. My goodness. I guess that one's probably... That's a shame. That's probably because the this frame is defined... See, so far what we've defined up to this point is we've got this in it, but this is our window, right? Don't forget our entire application... Don't forget like me. Our entire application is defined here. So you'd have to change that before you know that how that's handled but otherwise our other handling like our control Q better yeah our control Q does it so everything except for the frame basically um, I wonder how you would modify that there's a homework for you guys <laughs> if anybody knows how you would edit that I'll have to look into it because that's a, a obviously something I think you should change um, 
I'm sure there's a way, especially with QT. But anyway, that's that for now. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments up to this point, besides, hey, you're stupid, that X didn't work, <laughs> keep that to yourself. Questions or nice comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.